Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Octane's Oracle, where today, of course, we're going to be talking about the biggest thing to happen in the last week of LEGO news, and that is, of course, the reveal of the LEGO Mario Summer 2022 sets, and I'm pretty impressed. I think this is good. Um, solid wave, at the very least, adding up to 2022 being being amazing, but... um. I really didn't see it coming. <laughs> I, I obviously knew we were getting a Summer Mario wave, and obviously, um, if you know me, I'm specifically upset that we didn't hear about character packs today. I know we'll see them in the future, and I know that they're, they're sort of a lock, but I was sort of hoping to find out a bit about them today. However, um, I really thought that it wasn't going to be a digital character this wave. I really thought we were just going to expand upon Mario and Luigi. And I know a lot of people said Wario, um, but Peach... And it's good. She looks great, actually. She really does fit the style. She looks like halfway between Lego and not. I mean, her face is definitely a bit more unnerving than the others, I think. And um, overall, a good figure. I, I mean, when I did my Digi Zelda, I completely called um, that the dre dress would be removable so that you could put the um, power-up suits on the bottom. And um, actually, at least... I think the hair should be as well, like, it very much looks to me like the hair's a separate piece that then you take it off and then the other suits fit on. It would be a bit of a shame if she couldn't wear the other hats, especially stuff that she would wear in-game, like, um, the frog hat and whatnot. And I know she's got the studs on the top of her head, but it's gonna look weird if all of her hair is showing, so, um, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work. But the crown piece looks great, and, um, I'll talk about the cat peach suit, um, a little bit later on. But talking about her start course in specifics, I think it's the, the, the middle of the run. Um, I really do like it. Um, I like how they've taken a different approach because, I mean, they've had to because it's Peach. Um, I definitely think they're going to get a lot more female uptake on this, and that's not me being sexist. I just genuinely think that this is going to appeal a lot more to girls, um, and they've really tried to tailor that, and I think they do too, just because um, there's less random stuff here, and there's a tea set. It's... A pseudo friend set almost um in, in a way oh it's weird i'm not getting into it however i do like where they've gone this is definitely better than the luigi one because i did not like the luigi starter course at all not as good as the mario one but that has a lot to do with nostalgia the inclusion of another koopaling is great yellow toad good fire bubbles return is great i'm really happy that we're seeing these wave one characters appear in sets again um in particular i'd love to see a reuse of the thwomp i think is my next big one for one i'd want to see um and i don't really mind the reuses at all because it's building an army there are lots of them in game so we should have as many opportunities to get as many different characters as well the one one where i disagree is the bob -omb. we should have had the red bob -omb by now however i like the inclusion of the smaller tower element for peach's castle i think that's great that they're spreading the castle across multiple sets especially all the ones you're going to get if you want the full peach experience i really love the present and the fruit ideas and in the description it reads that the um the fruit is going to encourage different reactions so i'm interested to see how that goes winged question mark block perfect again and i'm really pleased to see more mushrooms and um, the sky biome coming in across this wave. Overall, I think it's much, much better, much more cohesive than the original Luigi one. However, um, still a little bit worse than the Mario, but that could be nostalgia talking. Moving on to possibly my favorite of the, um, the wave um, is the Goomba Shoe. I really love the direction they've taken these character, um, these power-up pack sets, where they're no longer the suits, which were overpriced, and even I would say they were overpriced, and where this year we've had um, both the Bowser Jr. Clown Car and now the Goomba Shoe, both with like almost a pseudo-character pack character with the bob -omb and now the Goomba, um, on a little display build, but the shoe looks fantastic. The shaping is great, really clever reuse of the pipe element. I love the fact that you can either display it in its walking or its flat position by what looks like a uh, flap underneath and I'm assuming there's going to be an action tile on the inside the inclusion of the Goomba again makes sense because I'm pretty sure Goombas ride the shoes I mean I'm not a Mario expert so someone correct me on that and it and it definitely really much works much better than the power up suits for the 899 price point I'm really really clever I, I genuinely think I might get this one even though I have no idea what it's representing I kind of like the shoe Moving on though, because um, there's nothing to talk about really with the shoe apart from it being a really clever idea. To um, next one, fuzzy flippers, which is another one that I'm I think is really well executed. You've got these these fuzzies with some different expressions, and they're clearly on like rotational axis. And as you press down on the uh, the um, what's it called the turntables it looks like they're going to flip up and I'm assuming that action tile is going to be on their bottom so your goal is to try and keep flipping them until the bottom is upright uh, they've put a time block in the set suggesting that it might be a difficult challenge however from my experience with stuff like this I don't think it's as hard as they think it is <laughs> unless um, it's harder for six-year-olds um, but uh, 
I don't know. I don't think it's as hard as they, they want it to be. And um, I think that's going to be a bit of a simple challenge. However, I do like the green, blue and white colour scheme. It's nice to get more cloud stuff. And it is a unique play feature, which is the biggest thing for me in LEGO Mario. Always much appreciating a, a unique uh, play feature. It looks great, as I, as I said. Um, I'm particularly pleased with it. Time block coming back is also great. And I'm um, talking about the new spring mushroom. Um, it's very hard to tell at this point whether it's going to be a spring and release thing, like a ballpoint pen where you click on it once to click it down and then you click it again and it springs up with four launching whoever's on it or if it's just a bouncy thing for fun I think I'm more enticed to believe that it's just a bouncy thing for fun and every single bounce will return it to its original posture looks like great it adds a nice level of playability to the mushrooms and I think it's used well across the set so I'm particularly pleased with that the thing I should mention I guess is the shaping of the fuzzy background also really like that I think it just is a nice facade piece for um, the display of two characters and I'm interested to see how that play feature plays out it's again it's a lovely unique one and then next up, I think, is probably the hardest to judge. That's the Yoshi's Gift House. Now, straight out the bat, I prefer this to the Mario House because this one actually is involved in the course builder system and like the other one where their solution was to put Mario in a blanket. Um, I think that Yoshi looks great. It's good to have him back. He's the most iconic colour, so I think the other colours can definitely wait. The mailbox looks cute and all of the tree builds work perfectly. Having Monty Mole, I guess, works as well. But... I really can't judge this one yet because I don't know the play features. I mean, you can see the fruit in the background, so that will elicit different reactions. And you've got the present again and what looks to be a, a turning device. I don't really know what that has, that's going to do. But it looks all right as a facade, not something I'd really want to display. Pretty middle of the run, but the play feature here, whatever it is, could elevate it. A bit like the Master Your Adventure set from 2021. So um, I think that one's a bit of a wait and see, and then we'll see how it turns out. But otherwise, I'm pleased to see Yoshi again in a set that's significantly more interesting already out of the gate. Next up, the Cat Peach Suit and Frozen Tower, and I think I agree with everyone when I say this is the way the power-up suit should have been done, including other sets where it doesn't look like it's inflated the price too much, at least not from my very British perspective where um, the prices are actually sort of okay here. And actually, I really like the colour scheme on this tower. I love that they've gone for some creativity within the IP. I saw it mentioned that this isn't based off anything super, super particular, more as in set in the Mario world. And you guys know I love stuff like that. I love the lo what looks to be ice-breaking features and the cat, cat peach suit. Pat, cat, pat, 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 pat. The cat peach suit looks <laughs> great in its form as well, particularly the fact that you can put the crown on the top is a really, really nice touch. A colour scheme, again, perfect. Um, the inclusion of these new transparent rods, which we'll talk about when we get to Spike, are uh, absolutely brilliant. Kamek makes sense, but I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like I prefer Kamek in this set to the Bowser's airship, but I need Kamek in Bowser's airship to make Bowser's airship somewhat interesting because a pirate gumba alone cannot sell me on that set um so i really don't know how to feel about inclusion here it makes sense i'm pleased to see toad back although i would have preferred the normal expression and cat gumba looks absolutely fantastic i love my gumba variants so so much the waterfalls and all the little peach stuff and what looks to be like the ice breaking features are all going to be absolutely spectacular i'm really interested to see what's hidden on the inside of this one and it looks like it might sit quite nicely with um the big peaches castle so that will be very interesting obviously there seems to be some sort of like hidden hiding feature for the, the cat peach suit and i love the inclusion of the bell trees and another fruit to influence your reactions it's just i like kamek being here but it just feels too soon maybe um she should have been somewhere else but i don't know it doesn't matter it's not worth dwelling on she's here and she's in a much more a desirable set at least to me on a personal level i prefer this to the uh airship the airship's uh, technically impressive but um it's not my favorite expansion set i do love it a lot but just not enough and then that moves on to the actual bigger peach's castle set which of course is um peach's castle i think that's at least what it's called um princess peach's castle yeah and it's really nice how succinct they've been this way with um Peach's elements so that the, all of the sets are related to her so much better than the weird two player gimmick of the Luigi wave and I'm really going in on this Luigi wave now from last summer but it, the, everything just sort of tacked on and here we're just sort of back to back to form this year and I, I'm really pleased Luigi's Mansion should have been what Luigi launched with I think in my opinion new pipe here um, I'm particularly hoping that this pipe is a explore at your own leisure pipe I think that's nice. I love this little front section with all the trees and stuff. I've been meaning to say we need more Mario trees and, and whatnot. And I'm really enjoying the use of the um, Ninjago arm piece to uh, get these nice angles on the Mario courses. That's something that works really, really well and I'm really pleased to see. Um, 
I am debating the new azure color that's being used as water. The water was supposed to be blue. I know the azure works better with the white, but azure is sky. So the castle does not float. Why is it on azure? That's my big complaint, uh, I think. Um, Toadette, great inclusion to have again, especially considering I don't enjoy the Toad Treasure Hunt set. Love its playability, but it doesn't look, doesn't feel substantial to me, I think. I think it's the right word, although it is still a very nice set. Having another Koopaling, Ludwig in particular here, is looking great. I quite like the way they've done his hair. And then you've got some side builds off to the side. Uh, the bob -bomb here should have been... Well, this bob -bomb should be the blue one. The one in the clown car from earlier this year should have been the red one. Or the black one. Any other bob -bomb colour we should have had by now instead of this one. I do not remind them repeating the bob -bomb, But the bob -bomb has been in like seven sets now. It more, Almost more than the Goomba. And it's becoming an issue. Uh, I don't mind the Goomba as much because he's had waves where he hasn't really appeared. And he's had all these variants. But the bob -bomb, he's just still the same. Give us the other colour, please. Um... But moving on, we have uh, the little fruit display thing, which looks nice, including, of course, the obligatory fruit to influence your play. And Goomba Cake! <laughs> this is like the pirate Goomba of this wave, and I love it to death. I'm going to have to get one. I'm, I'm going to have to get one. I just this alone, like, I need Cake Goomba in my life. I love how cute it looks, how dumb it looks, and how much it feels like a Mario enemy. And I'm really, 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 really impressed with it. Just like I was with the pirate hat, where you've got to knock that off first and then get the Goomba. Oh, it's so cool, so colourful, and none of the parts are exclusive. So I'm really, really pleased with Cake Goomba. Cake Goomba is um, the star of this wave for me, and um, I love it. It's so cool. And then you've got Bowser as well. Um, I felt more iffy on this to start with, including Bowser here again. He fits more in the Bowser Castle set, and that is my favourite Mario set. That has not changed. But I read in the description for this set that there's some sort of thrown turnaround feature where you've got Bowser on the other side. And that, while I haven't seen it yet, sells me on him being here. If there's some sort of cool banner and you can like turn him around and it does the... Uh, uh, Oh, like as he um, turns around, it, it's su it's going to be such a cool feature to see him turn around. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing that in action. If it's as good as I hope it is, it's a great inclusion. If not, I'm sold on him being here to kidnap the the princess. Although the princess clearly doesn't need saving herself. Um, Toadette's feature in the front. Apparently, it's building a bridge. It just sort of looks like she's dying. Really, I, I really don't know what to say. I don't get it. Maybe it will make more sense in the final one, but apparently that's building a bridge, but it just looks like she's on a seesaw. Uh, the actual castle structure, it looks... Um, I do quite like the rooftops. I'm not usually a fan of overly large specialised uh, pieces, particularly with roofs. The Harry Potter one from 2010 was fine, and the, the smooth code one was nice, but this one really does invoke the Mario feeling. And in particular, I think this one has many more uses outside of this theme. I expect to see this in the um, Leo's Castle or whatever it is that's rumoured for the 90th anniversary set in the summer. Don't worry, I will. We'll talk about my disappointment of that one day um, when it gets revealed, most likely. Um, and I also expect to see this in any LEGO Zelda sets, depending on when they show up, if ever, at this point. Um, uh, looking at the castle walls, I do like the shaping using those um, cone pieces. I believe they were cockpits originally in solid white going up. Really add a nice crenellation to this castle and really give it some nice shaping. The doors look great. I would have preferred a door opening function of it like the Luigi's Mansion entryway. And then there's the picture of like the thing on the floor from Super Mario 64 in the entranceway, which looks cool. And I want to bring up that that could possibly be a 4x4 tile, which I am super not a fan of. I do not think that piece was needed. They could have made do with two prints on some two two by fours and i hope that's what they is i will not jump it until i see it however i'm not thrilled to buy it uh peach's stained glass also looks absolutely fantastic i'm really excited to see this turnaround feature and clearly she can sit in the throne there's an action tile in there but one other thing the description brought up that i want to talk about is supposedly the bomb battlefield portrait from super mario 64 is in this set which is interesting. This could credit why the Bobom is here, and that's why I give the Bobom in this set a pass because he's an iconic enemy in an iconic location, and his portrait's supposed to be here. So I will pass the Bobom in this set, but I still think the one in um, the Bowser Jr.'s clown car should have been um, something else. However, I'm very intrigued to see that and anything else that's hiding behind the walls. I hope there's at least two more action tiles, or else this is definitely more of a display than play set. And I definitely think it's a bit lacking. My like, it's a fantastic set, just not one that I'm in any rush to pick up apart from Kate Gumba. So. Um, um, we'll leave that for, for 10 years or whatever it is. And then finally, my favourite from the wave, uh, Big Spike's uh, Cloud Top Challenge. And that is, of course, excluding the character packs, which 
Why weren't they here? Can someone show me my character packs, please? I'm so excited for character pack series 5. I don't have space for any more, but I'm getting them. I'm, I know I'm getting them. I'll get Saren 7 again. I know I haven't even talked about character pack series 4 on the channel, but... um. But here we have Big Spike's Cloud Top Challenge, and they have really outdone themselves with a the character build. Spike looks so Lego, yet so Nintendo, and so accurate at the same time. I particularly love the way they've done his lips, and his feature of throwing this log is going to be insane. I love the inclusion of the springy mushroom. It works better here just because, obviously, this is a more expansive set. And um, no one's talking about the, the new beanstalk piece being um, an iteration on the candle element from LEGO Harry Potter, where um, it's going to connect together like the candle poles, uh, like they did in the bookshop, which makes this a much more LEGO version of the vine piece that I much, much, much prefer over the long and um, sort of bendy ones from before. I'm really excited to have these in a hard ABS, and that means you're going to be able to make custom length vines, which is super exciting. You've also got the transparent Technic frame, which sounds like it's going to be in pretty much every summer set from the Ninjago rumors and stuff, but that's sort of besides the point. Spike looks amazing is, is the big point here, and I love the way that feature looks. This one feels like a very coherent play set. I'm really loving the way this looks out. It, it's on the level of, of like Thwomp's Drop for me, Guarded Fortress, that sort of thing. It, it feels coherent, it feels like a Mario level, and it looks like a nice rearrangeable expansion um, that they've done really, really well. I'm really, really pleased with the color scheme in particular. I will say it again, the green and the light gray always look good and um it looks like that will be linked in with the platforms that look to be somewhat adjustable with the uh, boomerang bro um which also does look great as a character i do feel like his neck might be like one plate too tall but you know it is what it is it, it looks really great particularly the printing on there uh getting the star power up is also a really nice inclusion all of these clouds it's just really really cute um the color scheme and all and then of course we've got this little piranha plant which i gotta say is definitely my least favorite out of every single piranha a plant inclusion we've like ever had i i just think they can't really beat that first one with the guarded fortress i i just yeah it's just iffy although sea soul's nice it, it's cute for what it is but um spike definitely steals the show here and the beanstalks and the color it just feels also so whole so so complete and um i think that's what really stands out of a lot of this set princess peach's castle again is just it, it's so right for everything that Lego Mario is. The same with the Cat Peach suit and Frozen Tower, Fuzzy Flippers, Goomba Shoe, and the Adventures of Peach Star, of course. They're all just so right. They fit in so well. They feel like a very natural follow-up wave and just, oh, so excited. Now, naturally, there is a big, empty feeling inside of me. Where are my perfect little character packs? I know they're coming. I know they're a guarantee and that we are getting some this wave. But, um, where are they? Where are my children? <laughs> I can't wait to see them. I really don't know who they're going to choose um, for the character packs this time. So I'm really, really excited to see see what happens there. As for whether I'll be picking any of these up, the Goomba Shoe is, is particularly tempting for me, as well as the Big Spikes Cloud Top, although I think that both of them will probably fall off given how good this year is going to be and how we really don't know what's coming in the summer yet. It's a bit too early for me to make that kind of cool. Um, one thing is certain, though, and that Kate Goomba, um, it, is, it is coming into my collection one way or another. Uh, I'm getting my hands on Kate Goomba. But that is actually going to do it for today. Uh, that is really all I wanted to talk about, the Mario sets. Of course, naturally, I will do a follow-up whenever the character packs are revealed because they are my favourite part of the LEGO Mario system and that's me being very very generous really considering how much i love the play features as well but in the meantime let me know what you think of this wave down below if there are any favorite sets you have or any that you are going to be considering picking up whenever these guys launch i believe it's august wow we serve really early but anyway let me know what you thought and i will see you next time Bye bye